ladies and gentlemen, Russia is coming out pretty strong in the media in predicting World War III. Now, I've seen these stories out there. I'm not going to lie. I, I might read through them a little bit here and there, but they seem to be coming out a little more harder than normal about this. But I want y'all to hear what Russia is saying. You know, I don't listen to things about Russia from the U.S. Because I noticed during the kickoff of the Ukraine-Russia war, these people were wrong about virtually everything. And then they kept lying to us in the media saying that Ukraine was winning and, and then later... A few months later, Russia was slaughtering them people. So I, I don't want to hear from the U.S. I don't want to hear the news from your perspective because you're all about propaganda and lies and trying to always play with the minds of people instead of telling the truth. That's why I won't watch the news here even when it comes down to Israel Hamas. I watch the foreign news online because you will get more truth than you will from any news outlet here in uh, America. They're going to just keep consistently lying to you. So let's get into this story. Russia official has new prediction on how World War III will start. Now, I don't know how closely y'all been watching the news, but Russia removed their ban on nuclear testing about a week ago. They're going to go back to testing nukes. So, Dmitry Medvedev, deputy chair of Russia's Security Council on Thursday, warned recent actions by Poland may cause the country to have a direct confrontation with Russia and Belarus, which could result in the start of World War III. Medvedev who also served as Russia's president between 2008 and 2012, made the comments in an article he wrote for the Russia newspaper over there. So the inflammatory statements are not unusual for Mevidev, who has emerged as one of Kremlin's most vocal critics of Ukraine allies. He has publicly stated on multiple occasions that Russia could attack NATO members for providing Ukraine with assistance. Now, if y'all remember, in the very beginning of the Russia-Ukraine war, Putin said he was going to go after any nation that is assisting Ukraine. Y'all remember that, right? So in December of 2022, he went so far as to call Ukraine's Western allies legitimate military targets. And then, you, if you also remember, we heard chatter about Alaska, Alaska being a possible target of attack. Because, you know, it's right there next to Russia. Okay. So more recently, he said in September that Russia is prepared to engage in direct conflict with NATO member states. So according to Mevidev, Poland's aid to Ukraine could cause the conflict to escalate into a global war. Poland's own military buildup and Poland's Military presence in Ukraine may trigger a direct confrontation between Warsaw and Belarus and Russia, Mevidev wrote. In this case, the ally group will give an appropriate response to prevent threats that stem from the evil ambitions of the Polish establishment. He continued, Poland's reckless actions if rashly supported by its NATO allies, may have far-reaching dangerous consequences for the entire world. And then, remember, it was Poland that took part in not letting those Africans get on the train 
Now, I know people are talking about Ukraine. Yes, Ukraine did it, but Poland did too. Go back and look at those stories. Poland did too. You know, Poland did not want to assist those Africans, did not want them crossing the border into their country. Many of you may remember this because I know sometimes y'all just bring up Ukraine, but you don't bring in Poland's part in what happened to those Africans that were there. So let's go on. <clears throat> and then Poland will fulfill the role of the hyena of Europe that unleashed World War III. Elsewhere in the article, Mevidev accused Poland of having an ulterior motive for its support of Ukraine, claiming the country strives for only one thing, to ensure its total dominance in the region by establishing control over the states located between Warsaw and Moscow. Now, y'all, since the war began between Russia and Ukraine, relationships, you know, Ukraine and Poland were allies, but the relationship between Poland and Ukraine has deteriorated. It is not the same that it was like in the beginning of the Russia-Ukraine war. They were still pretty strong allies. Their ties are not quite as strong as they used to be. They have fallen out with each other. So let's go on. He also offered a brief history of Russian-Polish relations through the years before further disparaging the evil ambitions of the leaders in Warsaw as well as claiming members of the European Union harbor a poorly concealed hatred for Poland. Now, the leading EU states consider the Polish authorities to be malicious upstarts who selfishly use all of its institutions solely for their own selfish purpose without contributing anything to the European treasury, the Russian official wrote. It can be assumed that ultimately this will contribute to the destabilization of the EU structure itself up to a full-fledged showdown within the friendly European family and even the collapse of the EU through the fault of Poland. Now, ladies and gentlemen, remember in these final days, the Gentiles were going to start fighting against each other. That being said, what he said towards the end of this article, I really truly believe. I think this EU and NATO, you're going to see these countries falling apart and going after each other. These Western nations... You're not going to see them getting along like they once did before. You know, they were able to have all of these strong ties as long as we were still under the curses and we did not know who we are. We are now waking up globally. We are waking up worldwide. And now these Western nations are falling apart you're going to see more of the fighting even escalate when we start getting into 2024. It's not going to just be Russia, Ukraine, and Israel, Hamas. You're going to see more nations fall apart and fall out with each other. You know, the nations that tried to make us believe they were above such things, you're going to see they're not above it at all. They are cutthroat even with each other. Make no mistake about it. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. And one thing, we must always stay on the path of not getting involved. Don't get involved with any more Gentile issues, y'all. Stay out of it.
please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.